right, everyone. Let's learn Fernando Soares, Opus 60, number 12. I'm going to be doing all of Opus 60 and probably every single Fernando Soares etude over the coming years. I plan on running this channel for a long time, so sit back and enjoy. Next week, I'm going to be doing some more of the ultimate fretboard memorization. I'm not going to do it live, but check that out, too, to memorize your fretboard and become a better player. All right, guys. The sheet music is listed in the description below. You can get that at the IMSLP. Just look for Opus 60 and then find number 12. Download it. That's what I have on the screen here. It'll ask you for a donation. I'm not them. Donate to them. They provided the sheet music. You can also donate to me at musicandguitarlessons.com if the site's not under construction. I think it might be right now, but check it out to see. All right, guys. Without further ado, let's jump in. Let me get my circle on the screen here. Now, first thing to notice, key of G major. So if you watch the number 11 video, same thing, F sharp. We've got a G chord at the beginning. This one, however, I think is a little bit better of a piece than number 11. This one is one of my favorites. Um, so we start uh, in 2-4 time, and we have what's called a pickup measure there at the beginning. So that's an eighth note leading in. So we get and one, and two, and one, and two, and one, and two, and one, two, and one, and two, and two. right? So that's kind of how the rhythm goes. Um, now let's dive on in and talk about what the notes are and kind of what's going on here. So we have D to G and B. So that's just a quick 5-1. And if you don't know what 5-1 means, check out Music Theory in One Lesson. 5-1. And then G, F sharp, F natural, E, um, C, A. Then G and E, and F sharp and D. So let's just talk about the fingerings and then kind of what's going on there musically. So third finger, third fret of the B string, and then we get, and I get that with my middle finger on this right hand here, um, and then thumb and index for the open G and B. Then ring, pinky, ring on this hand, pinky on this hand, um, middle on both hands here, and then index on both hands here, um, and then we get an open E. All right, so that's just a chromatic line for the, for the melody. And then we come here to an A minor chord, which is our two chord in this key. And our open G and E is a six. And then we have our F sharp and D, which is our five in first inversion, because the F sharp is in the bass. If that sounds crazy to you, check out Music Theory in One Lesson. You can learn all about Roman numerals and inversions. And then we get a little passing tone here. So this will be pinky on the fifth fret of the B. Um, for that note E, generally that'd be your open high E, but of course this is guitar, so we we can play notes in multiple places. So we have F and D, that E, fifth fret, and then back to the D, and then we're gonna get our C, fifth fret of the G, and then an open G and B again, right? And that's our one chord. So we have and one. That brings us to the end of that phrase, starting with one. So we get five, one, two chord, six chord, five chord, five, seven, one, one chord. Now we get a, diff, a bit of a different melody. So we get G and then E, D. So that that's just kind of going through the G major chord. Um, and then this E actually kind of takes us to the sixth chord and then this D is the 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 seven of that six which makes means that you want to get pulled down to the next note and he gives you a C sharp where you would normally want to kind of hear a C natural um, and then we get B flat which is gonna go downwards to A and then our open G and C sharp giving us a C sharp diminished well, then we go to our D chord. Um, then that D chord, F sharp and D, 
So F sharp, fourth fret of the D string, and D, third fret of the B. We're gonna throw in a D sharp with the pinky on the fourth fret of the B there, um, and then open G and E here. Uh, a and C sharp, second fret of G and B, um, and then our open D and third fret of the B um, at the same time for those Ds, and then our second fret of the G for the A, and then finally with the thumb again on the D, right? So that one's a little bit more of a mouthful. Now there's a lot of chromaticism going on. So we have, here's our chromaticism, right? Ba, da, da, and then to our D chord with the sharp, six, and then here's our A and C sharp, which is actually five of five, and then our five. Right, so we have six, kind of borrowing from D minor, which brings us to our um, C sharp diminished, which pulls us to a D chord, D sharp. Bah, 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 bah. So that's a little bit of a trickier spot. Of course, you see the repeat there, so you're going to repeat that measure. Um, now let's take a look at the next part this part's actually really very very cool and a lot of fun some 16th notes going on um, so we're starting on this second half on the fifth scale degree and then we get an open d and a d sharp now the point of that is that he wants you to be feeling like you're pulled to that e and he's going chromatically up to the g Right, and then we get another chromatic run from A to A sharp to B, and then we're gonna get open D and C, which is up there on that eighth fret of the high E. So we get two and one and two and one and two and one. So we go first, second, third, and then up to fifth. So first, second, third, up to fifth. So we start open D, fourth of the B, open high E, first, second, third, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. And then we're going to go down to that A, fifth fret, and then we're going to get our seventh fret, the B, and we're going to slide back to G here, third fret, and then second fret, fifth fret, third fret of B string and then our open D. Right, so we have right now we're going into 16th notes. And the best way to think about this is the bass note still sounds like an eighth note, right? And we're just putting the, the note D, third fret of the B, as a pedal point through the whole thing. Um, a pedal point means that you know it's just something being repeated and the, the bass note here actually starts to move so it's the interesting thing now here's the thing before we had D D sharp E uh, just chromatic line up to G and then another chromatic line up to C and that's actually what he's giving us here so we have D D sharp E um, E sharp F and then open G A A sharp B and then C A B G right um, so we're getting the same exact F sharp A B um, line, but it's in the bass an octave lower now. So we get um, two, and, sorry, two, two. Right. So we 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 get this line here. Bob. Same, it's the same line, but one has a pedal point in it. Um, and you're bringing your finger D, D sharp, E sharp, and then F sharp, open G, A, A sharp, B, and then um, our C, A, and then B, G, F sharp, A, open D, and it's just thumb index, da 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 da. Kind of a cool thing, right? Now, let's move on to the end. This part is one of my favorite things ever it's so cool sounding um, so we're gonna start on the this D here last note of that measure because that's kind of the beginning of the phrase um, 
So we get our D, G, and B's open, right? And then that chromatic line, G, F sharp, F natural. And now we're gonna get our C fifth fret of the G and open high E. And we get A, and then G sharp, G, and then D and F sharp, D, C sharp, C natural, and F sharp, um, B and G. Then we're gonna come up to A's at an octave. Um, index and pinky, so that's fifth fret of the high E, second of the G, and then open G and high B, right? Um, and then we're gonna get an F natural and a G, third finger on the third fret of the, the D and an open G there, right? E and C, second and first of D and B. Um, and then what we're gonna do is third finger comes down here. I know this is different than what's written on the page. This is how I play it. We have open D and third fret of the B. Right, just different fingers, same notes. And then C sharp, fourth fret of the A with your pinky with your open high E. Um, and then I like to use third finger for the C natural here and index for this, this F sharp. And it allows me to sneak in my second finger for this B and pinky for the third fret of the high E for the G, right? And then open G, and then we have our C, A and C, and then we have this bum, bum, bum. Right, so that's open D and B, and then really quick a G, and then our fourth finger for that D, and we got our open D, um, C, A, F sharp, G, D, G. So C is first, A is second, F sharp is fourth fret of the D, right back here, and then D, G. Now that is kind of a mouthful, right? So we get da, uh, So let's just talk kind of. So there you have it. This one is one of my favorite Fernando Soares Opus 60 number 12. I'm gonna play it for you again here at the end. Um, so take a look for that. Uh, however, if you wanna download it, got the link down there. This one, I, th I hope you guys had a lot of fun with. I hope you go ahead and go and donate to me. Check out my books, Music Theory in One Lesson. Um, but most importantly, I hope you keep practicing. So thanks for watching and happy practice.